Once we have logged on to our email account using Outlook Web Access, let's take a look at some of the pieces of the screen. On the left hand side, you can see that there are shortcut buttons that put us into different functions of our email. For example, if we wanted to go into our inbox, which by default is what we go into when we launch into the program, to access our calendar or our contacts, our tasks, any folders we've created, to change options in our email, or to log off of our email. So these are shortcut buttons. Something else that might be important to you is the view. You can click on the down arrow beside the view to view different types of information. Your messages, unread messages, by sender subject, those types of things. If you have a lot of email in your inbox, for example like I do, on the right hand side you will see arrows and you can see that it's indicating I'm on page one of three and I can click the next page arrow to get to the rest of my email to read those. One note, we are using what's called an exchange server for email in Billings Public Schools and each employee has 50 megabytes of capacity in their email account. You want to keep in mind when you are using your email that you want to keep your email inbox, sent items folder, and deleted items folder fairly empty. You don't want to save a lot of, of your email in those folders. And the reason that you want to do that is because you only have 50 megabytes of capacity. If you start receiving emails with attachments and forward those, you then have two copies of that email with two copies of the attachment, one in your inbox and one in your sent items. So it's very important that you go and delete email when you no longer need it. Manage your mailbox to keep the, the error message from coming up that you can't receive or send an email because your capacity has been reached. Okay, so well, a couple other things on the window. In front of me where my cursor is, is all of the email messages that I have currently received. The ones that are bold are the ones that I have not read yet. And you can see that I can tell who they're from, the subject, and the date received. I can also see the size of the email, which I think helps in managing the email itself. When you're getting ready to do different items in, in your email, for example, if you wanted to delete an email message, you can click on the box to the left of the email and come up and hit the button that is for delete. These are just a couple of things that I wanted to point out in the environment of the Outlook Web Access email program.